Okay, so that's me. I'll tell you about something I call unexplainability and incomprehensibility of a gap. And I'll do it with a microphone. So we are all working on the same problem, I think. We give it different names. Some people call it control problem, alignment problem, friendly AI, doesn't matter. We all would like to create very beneficial, controllable, safe AI, AGI, super intelligence at all levels. Weirdly, we have no idea if problem is actually solvable. It may be, maybe undecidable, maybe it's solvable, but somehow no one so far published a paper saying we can definitely do it, even in uh, theoretical terms, much less practical implementation. So in my work, I would like to try to understand if we can solve this problem, and I think we need certain tools to make it happen. One of those tools is explainability. We should be able to understand how the systems work to properly guarantee safety results. Unfortunately, I think there are some upper limits on what's possible in this space. Just overall limits to what a human mind can comprehend. It may be a very high limit. We are maybe very far from it. We can definitely learn a lot by doing mechanistic interpretation work. But I think for a sufficiently complex system, we're going to hit some limits of human comprehension. So one is... At some point, the system is just so complex that you have two choices. You can either share the model itself as an explanation. The model itself becomes the best, the only accurate explanation of what's going on. And that's typically not surveyable by a single human brain. Alternative is to provide some sort of a simplified explanation. We can uh, maybe for consumer applications, give users a top five reasons why a decision was made, and that's good enough for applied AI. Wow, that's optimistic, three minutes. Uh, for applied AI uh, applications. But I don't think it's sufficient for AI safety work, especially at uh, critical systems where we only get one chance to get it right. In cybersecurity in general, you have multiple attempts to do well. If somebody steals credit card numbers, you give them a new credit card. You can reset passwords. We suspect that in AI safety, specifically in AGI and superintelligence safety, it's not the case. You'll get one chance to get it right. And I think we need to comprehend full picture of a model. It's not sufficient to do some sort of modular decomposition and go, OK, we have 100 people in this room. You are responsible for module one. You are module two. And then hopefully we can integrate it in a way where the whole becomes something we can comprehend, and it makes sense, and we can provide guarantees of safety. So this presentation is a great example of what I have in mind. I published this paper. Maybe it's 25, 30 pages long. I have to compress it to two minutes now and give you an explanation. My two options were to give each of you a copy of this paper, or I can give you this very, very reduced, very controversial explanation for why I think we will not completely comprehend those models. And that's what I did. If you disagree, if you agree, come talk to me. I have lots of other interesting limits in the space, AI safety impossibility results in terms of predictability of those systems, verifiability of code, and quite a few others. We have a survey coming out with about 50 of them. So if you think there might be a chance that the problem is unsolvable, you might want to talk to me. The panel we had earlier was very scary. People were saying there is uh, you know, up to 95% chance the thing's going to kill everyone. But they are actually optimistic. They're saying there is a 5% chance we can solve this problem. I'm not sure they're right. Thank you. <laughs>